What up, it's you, for today's video, we make full weight-based Pokemon moves team. So some Pokemon moves out there, people, actually affect the opponent and your Pokemon in different ways. There's also mobilities and items as well, so I thought this would be a really cool team to cover, and I really hope you enjoy it. Now, people, the question for today is, I was like, I was going to ask, what is your weight? Then I thought, that's a little bit personal, my 69 kilos, however. So we're going to go with, uh, what is your favorite weight-based move? Leave below in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, you hit that bell, so did notify me of everything because if you missed the salt, it's not my fault. Also, we have released some uh, new merch, people. I did this in yesterday's video, but I know a lot of you didn't see yesterday's video. I didn't think it got sent out properly. So we got cushions, um, more cushion for the pushing. Uh, we got some mugs, um, like iPhone cases, Samsung, Android cases, all that sort of stuff. If you want to check that out, if you do purchase some of that, I really appreciate it. Uh, let me know in the comment section of the video. I'll give it a little hug. Okay, today's battle. We actually have three of them. We got a triple battle special. This one was against Skylar. And we got a little uh, set of floating cast forms here. Now we got a cast form right going for Fire Blast right away on my Steelix. Almost takes it all the way down to a sturdy. Now I was actually low key expecting to get burned there. However, I'm not going to get burned and I'm going to be able to go for the Auditor Mine. So I thought I've got to go for Auditor Mine's uh, Heavy Slam here. But I have to do it on at least one of my Pokemon. So go for the Auditor Mine's Heavy Slam right on the cast form. Cast form survives right and it's going to finish me off with a Disrespect uh, Energy Bolt. Now, the item I've got in this one is Metal Coat. We've got to boost that uh, Heavy Slam. We've got the uh, moves Taunt and Toxic as well. Now, all the moves I was doing in this battle, all my attacking moves are all based off weight moves. So that's how I was attacking the opponent. So now we're going to bring in the Mudstyle. I've actually got a Choice Scarf Mudstyle with Low Kick and Heavy Slam, Stealth Rock and Rest. Max Attack and Max Speed. Anyway, so we're going to get rid of the cast form there. Lapras comes in. I'm like, damn some. I can go for a uh, low kick again. However, it's going to be choice scarfed as well and hit me with the uh, aqua tail. So it's going to hit me with its tail and I'm going to hit it with my bare horse foot. Now, really, when you think about it, that low kick should have actually had the animation of high horsepower. So just, just pretend it was. So I've got to swap the uh, mud style out there. I don't want to lose it like this early on the game. It could be pretty handy. And I'm going to go into float your boat. Now, this is probably my favorite uh, strategy on this whole team. However, I don't get to pull off this strategy like right away against the, uh, well, the incoming Lucario, that is. So I, I won't go over that whole set just yet because I actually swap out really, really quick there. I went for the grass knot. The grass knot is the only special base move based on weight which is kind of interesting. So obviously, the heavier the opponent, the more like Grass Knot actually does. Now, Heavy Slam, and uh, you know, there's obviously all of like Heavy Slam, uh, we got Low Kick, things like that. Like all of them are actually physical moves. So that's like the only special one. So now I'm going to go into Embor. Now, Embor's got a really interesting move. It's called Heat Crash. And uh, not many Pokemon actually get this one, guys. So basically, it's a Fire-type version of Heavy Slam, really. That, that's what it is. Now, uh, Embor itself actually has all, like, well, basically four, like, weight depend moves. This has Heat Crash, Low Kick, Grass Knot, and Heavy Slam. So it actually gets, like, all of them, which is really, really cool. So this set was as follows. We got Max Special Attack and Max Attack. Blaze is the ability and an item as the top is. So that Mega Lucario is uh, going to go out of this game. So now we got the Lapras coming in. I know that it could go for the Aquatel, but I thought, I'm going to stay in. It may be too obvious. However, it's going to go for Aquatel again and finish off my Jenny Craig. Well, Jenny is going to go back on the... Uh, what do you call those things? Those... Um, man, I've got a mental block. They're like a little rotisserie thing. You run, a running machine. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so Float Your Boat's going to come back in here, and I'm going to happily uh, go for my strategy. Well, I didn't happily go for it because the Lapras swapped out, and uh, the Porygon actually came in. So I thought, I may get a little bit of a swap here with the Porygon, so I went for the Substitute, right? So I've thrown out the Substitute. Things are looking really hunky-dory at the moment. Now, I can go for the Switcheroo. Now, the cool thing about this, the only item that actually based around weight is the Float Stone. Now, what the Float Stone does I nearly said the Fleet Stone then. Have you guys watched the Fleet Stones? Yabba dabba do, rolling those square stones, things like that. Anyway, so uh, the Pur I've completely just gone off my train of thought. So Porygon's going to hit me with the Signal Beam. I actually switch through to Float Stone. Now, Float Stone actually makes the target 50% lighter, which is like really interesting because if you make them lighter right, then you hit them with the Heavy Slam. Waylord, they are going to go down like really, really fast. So we're going to go for the Heavy Slam. This is Stab right here. Max Attack and Max Health. It lives on one health. Like, come on. Like, literally, my ability in real life has to be sturdy. There's, there's no other explanation. So, Porygon's going to go for, like, it was quite funny. Because after the battle, um, they mentioned they actually put, uh, EV, like, four EVs in uh, defense. Those four EVs in defense actually made the difference. So, we got the Porygon going down there. But I can't believe that lived. I like, had the perfect strategy. So, it's really cool you trick away that, um, 
side switcheroo that floats. So it's a very, very uh, unique item. You'd probably never, ever see it being used. So now we got the Gen 5 coming in. It's going to go for the Night Days. Night Days is actually a really cool move. It's obviously signature Zoroark and uh, its evolution line. And it can drop your accuracy too. Of course, that happened to me. However, I live on two health and I'm able to get off the heavy slam against the Zoroa. However, Zoroa doesn't go down in one shot. Of course, people, we cannot have a battle without a Focus Ash or a Pokemon living on one health. Can we? Can we? So Delmize is going to go down. It's going to, the, the boat's going to sink people. And uh, I'm thinking I could swap in my Mudstail here. I might have the upper edge with the speed. So I'm going to go for low kick. At the moment, I don't think they suspect a choice guard because their Lapras is also choice guard. And we outspeed the Zoro with the low kick. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this monster was absolutely off the chain. So we're going to go uh, Lapras quite coming in again, thinking, uh, should I swap out or should I save the Mudstar? I decide to save it in case the Akrotoa actually missed and it lands and Mudstar's going to go down. But Mudstar did a really good job there and you should see what happens in the next couple of battles with Mudstar. It's absolutely crazy. So I've got two more Pokemon left and uh, oh, ooh, there's also two Pokemon left as well. So we've got Lapras and we're going to send in the Expand Zong because sometimes you just got to, you know, expand your Zong. So on this set, we've got as follows. Let me bring it up real quick. We've got Trick Room, Skill Swap, Grass Knot and Heavy Slam. So the ability uh, Bronzong gets is Heavy Metal. Now that uh, makes you uh, rather heavy if you uh, skill swap it away. So I was thinking if I could skill swap Heavy Slam away, then go like low kick on one of my other Pokemon, which would make them heavier. That would actually make them get like hit really, really hard. Unfortunately, I didn't actually get that to happen. So the last Pokemon is a Shuckle. It uses Power Trick, right? So that's going to swap its defense and attack stat, right? So I actually went for Trick Room to set up my Heavy Slam Waylord, right? But this is really bad, right? Because Shuckle's defense is now its attack. And my Zong is, well, it's going to, you know, detract a little bit. So, well, uh, Ronzo's going <laughs> to fight. I've only got one more Pokemon left. And uh, that is the overpowered Waylord. I had to run this on this team, people. This set is just too good not to run. So let's, uh, let me tell you what this set is. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing. So we got uh, Curse, Heavy Slam, Rest, and Sleep Talk, Ability Oblivious, and Item Steelium Z, Max Health, and Max Special Defense. Now, if you know this, that Shuckle actually missed with a Stone Mist, which is really good. So we're going to go for that Corkscrew Crash Heavy Slam. That's what you need to do. Now, the good thing about uh, the Shuckle, its defenses aren't high anymore. So it's attack and defense swap. So at the moment, Shuckle's defense is like, well, basically two. So uh, Shuckle's going to leave with it sturdy. Of course it is. Like another one health leave. That's like three already. Now Shuckle's going to go for the Stone Edge. And uh, that one is definitely going to connect. And OP's going to go down. I don't know how it fainted. Like, I'm not sure. That must, must have been hacking. That's the only way Heavy Slam Whale I could actually lose. Hope you guys enjoyed that first battle against the hacker. All right, so let's get into the second battle. This was a battle, uh, I was joking, by the way, for the for, for the new viewers, I was joking. So um, we got a second battle. This one was against my, uh, this, this, guys, this one was against my Discord. This battle was on my Discord. This was, I think this was against Carrie something. I can't remember what their whole name was. So we got uh, a Bishop lead. I thought Delmise wasn't probably the greatest matchup in the world. So we're going to go into the car here. Now we got a Sword Dance Bishop. This thing has to get buried ASAP. So I thought, Hmm, let's go for low kick. This is going to body it. So I outspeed the Bishar, right? And man, that got spanked by a horse foot. And that, that's like a really good Pokemon to get, like a really good start and a really good Pokemon to bury up. All right, so next Pokemon we got, man, that, that name, that's so savage. My heart will go on. Anyway, so I got to swap out here. I like low kick will like low key do pretty well, but I thought in case it lives right, I just want to get like a heavy slam against it. I think that'll do a little bit more damage. So now we're going to go into the Steelix here. And they're going to go for a Ah, oh, so that's where the username comes from. So anyway, let me concentrate. Uh, we're going to go with a, uh, a red guys using its Z move. Of course, I'm guessing it's going to be focused like Z focus miss. Now, the good thing about using a Z move with it, well, it won't miss. Uh, so we got the reg, reg guys using the all out pummel against my Steelix. Now, Steelix does have sturdy so i know it's gonna live the problem is right i'm not gonna be able to like live the next attack from the red guys if it outspeeds you it's like more than likely it's gonna be able to use like any move so i'm guessing like well just ice beam like an ice move like frost breath ice beam something like that uh to finish me off and of course uh the titanic is gonna go for the uh ice beam there and that is my still down unfortunately uh the, uh, the meme slam couldn't do too much this battle. So I thought, okay, let's swap into Kai again. Let's go for that heavy slam. If I can like outspeed this and take it out, it'll be absolutely glorious. So go for the uh, heavy slam on the Reg Ice. And Reg Ice is going to go down in one shot. So that's two, like, think about it, guys. That's two Pokemon taken out already by Choice Scarf Mudstail. 
All right, it gets better though. All right, so we got uh, we got the god coming in here. I really can't do too much. This I've got to, like I was thinking. I was thinking in my head. I've got stealth rock, so I could swap out right, swap in the Jenny Craig, run on my treadmill for a little bit, then swap back in and fire off that stealth rock right. So Jenny Craig went for the Will O' Wisp there. Um, I didn't expect them to go for that. I thought this would be a nice swap of fire type Pokemon in, and then she did it. It's gonna swap out. Uh, now we got the judges coming in, which is Chad. I actually did a double swap back into my Kai again. I thought, oh, this is really good. If Shudina doesn't swap in right, I can go for a Choice Scarf st Stealth Rock. <laughs> stealth Rock and take it out. So the good thing about this, right, Shudina doesn't come in, and Heat Seeking Missile is going to come in, which is really, really good. So getting those nice Stealth Rocks up, they're firing them out of my uh, Nether region. Man, where do those, like, real talk, where do those rocks come from? Anyway, so I thought, okay, I can't do anything. I'm st no, I mean, I'm Choice Scarf Stealth Rock. It, it, it could do a little bit of damage, but I better swap out. Uh, so we're going to go into Float Your Boat. I thought I might be able to get that strategy going uh, with my Delmas. So we got the Waterfall coming from the Seeking. It's not really going to do too much. Now, Seeking does have a little bit of coverage of stuff like Knock Off and... Uh, Mega Horn and things like that. Uh, knockoff hits me really, really hard. Also gets rid of my Float Stone, so my strategy uh, is going to be sunk. Uh, so now I'm going to hit it with the Grass Knot. Grass Knot does half, probably about half health if I get like max or min damage. I wasn't sure. It might be a low key two hit KO, probably a three hit KO. Now we got the uh, Seeking go for the Mega Horn. Mega Horn, of course, is going to miss. I always use Mega Horn like it always misses, and uh, now it's going to be able to finish me off with the knockoff there. Obviously, not re risking that uh, accuracy. Now, almost swapped out uh, into another Pokemon. Maybe that's why they went for a Mega Horn, expecting a swap. So now, people, we've got the Kai coming in. So I can go for. I was thinking I could go for Heavy Slam here. If Shedinja comes in, it's going to go down to the Stealth Rock, right? That's what, that's what I was thinking anyway. So go for the Heavy Slam. That is the third Pokemon. Like the um the mudstar was taken out. That's the third Pokemon. I, I was almost about to like do it like a, a burp there. I'm sorry about that. I uh, had like a I guess it's not really fizzy, like an aerated water drink, and uh, it wasn't very nice in my stomach. All right, so Jesus is gonna go down there, and uh, we got four Pokemon down. Like four Pokemon. Could this be a Friday video? Boo? Is this gonna be a sweep? So we got the uh, Chatter coming out here. Obviously, Chatter's gonna be out at speed me, even with the choice scarf. Um, it's gonna go for a hit. I think this believe this hidden power grass arise. Wasn't really sure. Mudstar actually tanks. That pretty well and I get a nice little stamina boost which is pretty good I'm going to go for the Heavy Slam since I'm locked into that with a Choice Scarf. And Shadow is most definitely going to go down to that. So that is five Pokemon. The Mudstale has taken it down. So could we get a Mudstale Sweep here, people? Could we get a Choice Scarf Mudstale Sweep? So the last video is like the last uh, Pokemon. is called Friday video. So this is this is very like, aptly named because I'm about to get a Friday video here. But people, what I've learned uh, battling uh, meme sets and battling my community, you don't always count your chickens before they hatch. So now we got the Friday video, and it's going to use guillotine. I, like, I had a feeling right there was going to be something scummy happening, and my Mudstail Sweeper is going to get cut short, literally. So that's my uh, Mudstail down. I've got three more Pokemon. I've got to take this guillotine Pokemon out. It's not going to take us out. So I thought, uh, let's go to Waylord here. You know, Waylord is the best Pokemon team. Let's do it. However, Waylord is going to get turned into, uh, I don't know, Waylord Chow, and that is a down. So I've only got two more Pokemon left. Guillotine actually luckily hits twice around. That was, like, super lucky. So I'm thinking here, hmm, I don't want to bring, like, my Embor in just yet. I'm going to go for Trick Rope. So thankfully, Guillotine actually misses and expand. Now, sometimes, guys, you just got to expand your metal um, zone. So we got the Trick Room up, which is nice. That's going to actually favor my Embor now. Even if this lands, um, like, that Guillotine lands on my uh, Bronzong, which would be pretty doubtful, I'll be set up with my Embor to go for a Heat Crash. And, of course, Guillotine, like, Guillotine hit three out of four times there. What is this, guys? What is this no-guard Mega Pinsa? Um, it actually turns into air away, which is pretty funny too. So the last Pokemon I've got is the Embor, and I'm gonna be able to outspeed this one. Definitely the Trick Room. I can go. There's a there's a Cricketot. There's a Cricketot in the room. Can you guys hear that? I'm just gonna say nothing for a sec. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but there's actually a Cricketot in my room. Anyway, so Friday video is uh, going to dodge a Friday video. And that's the game, people. That Mudstar was absolutely off the charts. Let's get into the third battle. This one's against Wolfram on my Discord. And uh, also, if you guys want to battle me on my Discord too, the link is in the description of the video if I didn't say that already. So we got a Gigalith Fleet. I was thinking Meme Slam might be able to do good against this. I might be able to get a like, Heavy Slam off. The only problem is uh, Darude Sandstorm is pretty bulky. So it's got the Sandstorm up. The meme is available. And uh, we got the uh, Cacton coming in. So I was thinking, okay, Cacton, I know what they're going to do to this. They're going to use like a scummy like Sandbale, like Bright Powder set. 
and maybe like have sub or something anno like really annoying like that. So I was thinking I might be able to use my Heavy Slam Waylord like Steelium Z against it. However, my Heavy Slam hits and does some pretty good damage against the, uh, you know, Cactus. So Cactus is going to be a special set. That Gig Drain does a lot of damage to my Steelix. So Steelix's special defense is, uh, you know, definitely not the greatest in the world either. So I can go for a Heavy Slam here. Cactus is going to go for a Spiky Shield. Now Spiky Shield is definitely not going to take me out. Uh, but it's obviously going to do a little bit more damage to my Steelix. Now, the only thing I can really do here is either swap or go for a Heavy Slam again. I thought, let's go for a Heavy Slam again in case this thing gets, like, really lucky and dodges a lot of attacks. The second Heavy Slam takes it out, and uh, that is Cactus down. So, I was pretty lucky there at getting that early. So, we got the Top Dog coming in here. Uh, this is going to be able to use pretty much anything to take me out. But then I was thinking, I could go for Heavy Slam myself and uh, try and take it out. It's going to outspeed me in Fire Fame. So, like, okay, even after the Order Demise, I get outsped, which is which is kind of to be just expected because Steelix is, like, it's not the fastest Pokemon on in the world. See, I was thinking, let's go ahead to float your boat. The only thing I was worried about this is, does this have a Z Crystal or does it not have a Z Crystal? That's the thing about Switcheroo. I didn't want to, like, burn up my item, you know what I'm saying? So now we've got the Shuckle coming in here. I went for the Risky Switcheroo, and that's going to give the Shuckle Ride a Float Stone. So our Shuckle is going to actually get a 50% drop in its weight, which is really good. So that means my Heavy Slam Ride is going to hit, like, really, really super heavy. So go for the Heavy Slam uh, on the Shuckle, doing some massive damage and uh, almost taking it out in one try. I'm not sure if this has got sturdy. I'm pretty sure that had sturdy anyway. And uh, it's going to set up the Sandstorm. So I was thinking, I was looking at the rest of the team. I was like, okay, one of their Pokemon could actually come into the Heavy Slam Ride and maybe, like, finish me off. So I went for the Grass Knot there for the neutral damage. And uh, guess what, guys? The Shuckle's not going to go down the Grass Knot. And it's going to be able to get a Toxic off against me. Oh, I should have gone for Heavy Slam. Even, I could have even gone for, like, Substitute there. So uh, I'll float your boat so it's going to have a little bit of poison. And it's going to get hit by the uh, Sand... I almost said get hit by the Heavy the heavy Sandstorm. And uh, I can finish this off with the Grass Knot. I decided to go for it again. That Shuckle got, like, a boost from the uh, Sandstorm. But just a very bulky Pokemon in general. Actually, that's two Shuckles. That, that's a two, uh, two out of two Shuckles. Now, we're getting a, a little bit uh, braided there by the uh, sandstorm and the toxic damage, but it's all good. I can still fire off a grass knot and uh, heavy sand. So the next Pokemon we got is the Dug Tray. This thing is a very much a hindrance in the sand. It's uh, super, super strong. It's going to go for the Iron Head. I actually tanked that high, like Iron Head just, but I get flinched and I get hit by the toxic and the sandstorm and uh, float my boat. Well, that boat is going to be sunk, people. There's not much I could have done there. So I've got to get rid of this. I was thinking, okay, I could bring in Mudstyle here or Expand Zong. I started to send in uh, Expand Zong, right? Now, most of the time, I hadn't showed off that I had Heavy Slam, not Heavy Slam, uh, my ability yet. So I thought they may swap out and not go for the Earthquake if they don't have it. So now we've got the Stoutland coming in here. I went for the Skill Swap. And now, of course, if you guys don't know, Stalin actually has the ability uh, Sand Rush, which gives it like a speed boost in the sand. And I actually gave it Heavy Metal, so if I hit this uh, with a low kick, like if this gets hit with a low kick, it's going to do a lot of damage. So it's got the heavy, uh, you know, it's got that ability. Now I'm going to swap out my Bronzong and I'm going to Kai. I was thinking, if I hit this with low kick, this is going to do a lot of damage. It's going to be super effective and it's going to be a heavier poke all right. So now I'm getting hit by the Crunch. Crunch does it a huge amount of damage to me getting that crit. Now I do get a stamina boost if this is actually locked into like Crunch or something like that. Um, I should just leave. So outspeeding it, go for the uh, low kick there and it doesn't take it out. I really wanted to get a one hit KO, but I failed to do so. So the next Crunch, I knew that I'll leave that one. I'm going to get another stamina boost. Uh, Stoutland can either swap out here or stand and go down to the low kick. Uh, we got the Stoutland actually swapping out here on a little bit of health. And we got the Dug Trio coming. It's like, okay. Interesting. Doug Tree is going to get hit very, very hard by this. Like, the only thing I was thinking about, does it have a Focus Sash? I'm like, of course. It's got a Focus Sash. Every Pokemon team I come across has a Focus Sash. I know I'm a, like a, probably a little bit of a hypocrite there because I like to run Focus Sash, but seriously, guys, the amount of Focus Sash, like, BS that I've been getting lately, like, Metagross, Reggie Rock, a Bronze, like, I haven't seen a Bronze on. Like, what is it going to be next? All right, so next Pokemon we got that. Oh, I've got a speaking of Bronzong. We're going to expand into the battle. And uh, now we've got the Dug Tree. It's going to use Sandstorm again. So obviously this is a team all based around the Sandstorm. Uh, we got the... I, I can see the Cactus, probably like a scummy set uh, in the Evasion kind of sort of thing. The Shuckle's very bulky. Uh, we got the Dug Tree with his uh, Sand Force ability, so, which I just took out there, which is nice. And we got the Sand Rush Stoutland. So this is like a full Sand team. And we got, of course, got the Giga Leaf uh, setting up the Sand too. All right, so we got the Stoutland coming back in. I really want to get rid of this. Uh, it's going to go for the Crunch, which is definitely going to be super effective against the Bronzong. Does some thumping damage to me. I'm able to eat my berry off. Oh, the, the berry, I forgot to say what that was. It was the, I believe it was a Wiki Berry. 
on my Bronzong. So I'd skill swap Heavy Sam Trick Room and Grass Knot if I didn't mention that already. So setting up the Trick Room. Now the good thing about this is the Stoutland is very, very fast, right? So in the Trick Room, it's going to be uh, very, very slow. So go for the Heavy Slam and that is the Stoutland down, which is cool. So we got the Giga Lift left. And we got the Lycorock. So Lycorock and Gilliv probably didn't want to swap into a Heavy Slam. So things are you know, looking pretty good. So our Darud is going to come in there. And that Sandstorm is going to rage. So I was thinking, okay, what is it going to use? Is it going to use like Earth? Maybe it knows that I've got like, obviously it knows that I don't have Levitate. So it might use Earthquake. What's it going to do? It's going to go through a Throat Chop instead on our Jenny Craig. So I was thinking, okay, this Jenny Craig actually is pretty slow. Like I made it to be like like suiting and Trick Room. However, the uh, Giga Lift is going to outspeed me and go for the Earthquake. And old Jenny Craig is going to go back on the treadmill again. God dang it. I've got a funny story about Jenny Craig, right? Uh, my nan, who's already passed away, uh, like uh, I think about four or five years ago, um, <laughs> she used to obviously go to Jenny Craig. But one day, right, we found out she wasn't going to Jenny Craig. She was going to the corner shop, in your custom pie, and then coming back and be like, damn, that Jenny Craig was hard. She was an absolute character, my nan. But uh, just, it just brought back a very, very funny story. Anyway, so Waylord is as useful as ever and goes down in one here. The only Pokemon I've got left is the Bronzong. So Bronzong can, like, total that like a roll. The only problem is is this uh, is this Gigalith, right? So going for the Heavy Sam or Gigalith. Gigalith's got very nice defense, so it's not going to really do too much anyway. And it's quite a heavy Pokemon itself. Uh, we got Throat Chop there on the... Exp my, 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 my Zone got Throat... My, 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 my... Wait, guys. My, my Zone... My Zone got Chopped. <laughs> Okay, so go for the grass zone. It gets a critical hit, which is nice. And they try to finish me off with a heavy slam. That is very disrespectful considering the theme. They don't take me out. And I'm going to take the uh, the Giga Lift out with the grass knot there. And, uh, the, sorry, the uh, heavy slam. And that is Giga Lift down. They try to finish me with my own theme team move. Now, the last Pokemon is the Lycanroc. Lycanroc can definitely finish me off. So uh, we're laughing about this. And they're, they're actually going to use the Lycanroc Z move here. So I was like... Just to punish me for not getting like KO and getting KO'd by that heavy save, they decide to use the Z move. I'm gonna chop that Z move out. I don't want to go like make you guys watch that for like half an hour, and that is pretty much the game. My uh, my my Zong got uh, hit by a couple of rocks. Hope you guys enjoyed this battle. There was a uh, pretty fun battles, like oh, especially the second one. Hope you enjoy the bloopers. Peace out.